Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, kick your feet up, subscribe to this family-friendly channel, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any posts. Also follow me on Instagram at the same profile name so you don't miss the sneak peeks of what's coming up next. In this video, it's the number one ladies detective agency, the series pilot, episode one. I learned many things from my father. To use my eyes, to use my ear. stolen my cow the man exclaimed i also learned from my father i got a sense of justice i released the calf from the cattle post the man shouts look that's my calf the calf knows its mother that's proof thief the elders tell me well done patience and the pleasure of solving a mystery my father gave me all of those things and then he gave me his van. A boy rushes to me and tells me, Harry, your father is passing. Finally, my daddy gave me 180 cows. My father tells me, Precious, I can hear the cows. Yes. They have now come down from the cattle post. Yes, yes. I can hear them. You know that I'm leaving them all to you. My daddy, I do not want the things that are yours. I want you. Ah, my child. I am not frightened of passing. I believe God is good and will take me to a land like Africa. And there will be white cows with sweet breath and acacia trees in the shade from the sun. So, no tears and make me a promise. If you ever marry again, make sure he is kind this time. Bless you, child. Bless you. A woman tells me, hey, look, patience, notice here, look. They say in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Patience, your Father, God go with you. Thank you, Ra. You remember Lucky Sasson. Eh, hey, I remember you. I find myself fortunate to have been your father's lawyer. So many funerals in Botswana these days. The best kind like your father. When a man has had the full life. The other kind from all bad diseases. Uh, yes, a huge turnout. Even the son-in-law, I hope his presence wasn't a surprise. Ex-son-in-law. Ex, just words. He wants to pay his respects. Will you speak with him? The last time he spoke to me, it was with his fist and the buckle of his belt. The last time we were at a funeral for a baby, I lost because of that beating. Do you know what you would do with your cows? You have over 200. You are a very wealthy woman. My daddy is not even caught in the crown. Ah, yes, but uh, think on it. 
You send the cows back to the gutter pools, live off of the cows and milk. Better than money at the bank, eh? Lucky like says son can arrange that for you. Or you could sell a few cows, buy a bottle store, live a good life. I can arrange that too, you know. Did he not bring his trumpet? What is note without his trumpet, eh? Tell note if he plays. He can stay. Note plays as I sing a song for my father and the other women join. Later, I sell cattle with large profits. Unfortunately, while out for a drive, my daddy's truck breaks down. A man stops to help me and tells me, this is a fine vehicle. A new car, you open the bonnet, scratch your head. An old car is a friend. It says, hello, old friend, as you opened it up. A new car says, hey, don't touch me. I am a computer and I only talk to other computers. <laughs> At Look Road Speedy Motors, we only fix cars we can make friends with. I think we will make good friends with your van. I am grateful. Every man I meet wants to change something. I'd rather fix things myself. So, what brings you to Cameroon? <sighs> I just sold my daddy's cattle, so I am looking for a nice house in the city. Then I will find an office and start my own business. I'm going to open a detective agency. Really? Era? Well... The bad man better watch out. <laughs> what? You know that is the same thing my father said when I told him. Can I ask why a fine woman like yourself wants to open a detective agency? <laughs> because I love my country Botswana. I love Africa. And I want to do good with the time God has given me. Every bottle store, every bottle market, there's someone who wants to know the truth and some mystery in their life. That is what a detective is for and that's what I'm going to do. A woman knows what's going on more than a man. We women, we notice things that men do not notice. For instance, Mr. Mutakoni, I know some things about you. You are a widower. You still have a fine print on your ring finger and I think a man who has divorced his wife has a bitter way with words. He speaks about women. You do not. And I also suspect that you are a little worried about your weight. Your belt is one notch looser than it used to be. Ma. I think you'll make a very fine detective. As the night approaches, I notice lights that I thought was the city of Cabroni. But something is wrong. People call the name Tapeso. There is a child missing. A boy is missing. Mr. Madaloni says people think a lion took him, but wonders how can a lion be so close to the city? When a child is lost, we all suspect the worst. There are people out there with dark ideas. I get out of the cob and the father. I can tell he is a good man. He's a teacher. How can people believe such things? Take a child to murder for medicine. We arrive in Cabron and view different spaces for my agency. Oh, everywhere, everything so much. The final one, old but intimate. I view the surroundings, the people. This, this is it. <laughs> we paint, others help. With furniture, I meet BK, 
Hmm, the sign. BK knows the perfect change. Then I make one final perfection. The number one ladies detective agency. I purchase my home and it already feels like home. I sip my bush tea and women scoff at my detective agency and say I'm the size of a small elephant. <sighs> no cases. A woman calls, Coco, I need some stamps. Um, we are not a post office anymore. So, can you give envelopes? Ma'am, this is no longer a post office. This is a detective agency. The lady never leaves, so I eventually give her envelopes so she may carry on. <sighs> Do Mela, ma? Hmm, principles of the private investigation. Is that your Bible? Eh? Nora, my Bible is my Bible. This is a good book, but the best way to do something is just to do it. Uh, you know I say the same thing. You can never learn how to cut hair from a book. It's all about the karma of hair and hands. <laughs> I don't have any cases to solve, but BK says that he will tell customers that if they need a case solved to go next door to the number one ladies detective agency. I tell him that if I see customers hair who's a mess to go next door to the last chance salon. BK says that it took two weeks before the first customer. He cut his assistant's hair 20 times just to look busy and at the end of it all she was bald. But the customers... They came. They came. Coco! Ah, please, ma, come in. I will fix us a cup of bush tea. Forgive me if at some point we are disturbed by a visitor. I'm expecting a lovely young secretary this morning. Apparently, she achieved the highest ever result from the Botswana College of Secretarial and Office Skills, 96%. It was 97% to be exact. I am the lady in question. You were expecting someone young with a tight skirt, disgracing herself under a desk with her boss in ways that only God knows how she can still look herself in the mirror? Yuck. I cannot tell you the number of times I have applied for jobs with my 97% and found myself in competition with a girl with 42% and a very short skirt. And every time short skirt gets the job, it's the way of the world, eh? Ah, but that's the way of a man's world. This is the ladies' detective agency. I will give you a month's try. And if you are a good secretary, I... I... will start right away. Are there any notes? That you need me to type up? BK comes over to say a barber and detective are similar in many ways. We both can change someone's life in one afternoon. You, the problems of their lives, and me, the problems with their hair. When he gives her a firm look. Ma, your name? Grace Makutsi. And yes, I am the new secretary. Well, Grace, your hair needs to be in my chair. Rai comes by later to bring typewriters too. They both have issues with certain letters, but between the two, we can spell every word. Grace wants to check what century we are existing in. Typewriters? This, is it not the 21st century? Coco... A customer. She's here for a mystery. We have a case. <clears throat> um, bush tea to help us begin. Eh? Her name, Happy Papazzi. When she was young, her father left and never came back. 
she got word someone saw someone at a hospital in Zimbabwe being carried away dead on a gurney that looked like her daddy. Her mother died two years after. Two months ago, she sat in the garden at her house and a man asked, Are you happy, Babatsi? I am your daddy. Then he started to whimper and cry with joy. Since then, he has stayed with Happy. He does not cook, clean, but always demands more beer, pop, and meat. She suspects he's not her daddy and only stays with her because of her job and money. An imposter. I must discover the truth. Case number one. Happy Papazzi and the dubious daddy. The next morning, Happy rushes, making sure that her daddy has breakfast before rushing off to work. He is on a cane, but after she leaves, I notice that he is vibrant. He dances and needs no cane. Grace's quick to report. No developments, no leads, and several cups of bush tea. Another customer. A woman arrives and says that she wants help. She's suspicious of her husband who has maybe been unfaithful. She knows that he acts strange. And also says that he was in Maroon but didn't come home. Her name, Alice Busson. And the man in question, Kremlin Busson. Case number two. Alice Busson and the Christian cheating husband. Mr. Mataloni brings over perfume from a client to give to his wife. And since he does not have one, he felt that it best fit for me. I asked him, where would a man go to find a woman? A hotel, golf club, casino? Where do they go? He lets me know they go to the Gogo Handsome Man's Bar. It's a dark place where one can't tell if one is married or not. It is something that I may find. Hmm. I go to the bartender and they notice I'm not a regular. They want to know if I'm looking for my husband or if I wanted to borrow some lipstick. Eh? I think I've spotted my guy. Or rather, he has spotted me. Ah, you are new here. I think I know you're looking for me. You've been wanting and looking for me your entire life. Let me buy you a drink for my fatty. Do you have a wife, Ra? Because I'm not leaving the bar with a married man. I love a woman with values. All my life I've been waiting for someone like you. I am as single as Jesus Christ. This is my opportunity to catch him in the act. He claims we cannot go to his house because his house is father. We must go to my place instead. He wants both of his hands all over me and he wants his fatty to be happy, huh? He's impressed with my home and quickly gets comfortable. He says his name is Dala and that the girls only called him Kremlin because that's his nickname. He keeps secrets like spies and Kremlin. I must find a way to keep proof of his ways. I convince him to take a photo of our special kiss. I must stop the potential passion that may happen in my home. We shared a few kisses, but it was a good kiss. Oh, no, no, (laughs) no, no, Dala. You have to go home. Eh, I cannot go. There is too much passion. I will explode from having too much passion. No, 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 no. Dala, you must leave. Now, just go. I'm sorry, you must leave. Grace reports that Alice Basson wants an update on the case that we need a telephone. Using the community phone is too much. And what if we are not available? What if the line is busy? What if someone needs to leave messages? I am very frustrated. And we have typewriters. We are the 21st century here. 
I ignore her and go to get pastry and see on the local news. The father explains when he was late coming home, he figured his son was playing with his friends from school or either went to his aunt's place, but he never came home. His wife is very devastated and his name is Tabiso. He pleads for any information to help find his son. BK says to me that that's why he could never have children. To be a parent, he knows that a man would cut himself in half to see his son again. <gasps> that is true, BK. <laughs> this is what we call a breakthrough. Yeah? A father would cut himself in half. BK, thank you. I go to a dear friend of mine who is a doctor and tell the nurse she can help me by mm, eating more food and getting less exercise. But I only mean I will need a uniform for a case since I am a detective. I also would need a medical rescue van. My van would be less convincing. Are you Europa Papazzi, the daddy of Happy Papazzi? Yes, I am the daddy of Happy Papazzi. What has happened? I have bad news for you. She's been in a car accident. I will share more details with you. Happy has lost a lot of blood. We can replace it. We have lots of money. We can buy more blood. Oh, do not worry. We don't have to do that. Happy has a red blood type. The only person who has her blood type is a living relative. Your blood. Uh, my blood? How much of my blood? Half. We are in luck. To have a daddy who will give his blood to save her life, even at the risk of saving his own. Eh? I'm afraid there's been a mistake. A mistake? I am not the daddy of Happy Papazzi. Not the daddy. No. Out! Out! We are in the middle of nowhere. What about my things? My laptop? My Bluetooth? My satellite? My boom boom box? You are a worm, and worms have no possessions. Off with you! Why do you come here and get to my business? Eh, you need to get a man. Come, come, come. We need you. So word around is you no longer need my encouragement. You have solved a case. Eh, sit down, please. Ah, we need to talk to you about some fingers. His name is Hector. Ma. I have a man who lost his finger at my factory. Boat making factory? The thing is, is he wants compensation. I got a letter from his lawyer. 4,000 pula. Eh, eh, he cut off my fingers. I need the cash. Eh. I want to be fair, but Mr. Morozzi never had a smile on his face. And one day he was gone. And after that... A letter from a lawyer and hospital certificate. My intuition. My gut says something is fishy. The note read, A traumatic amputation of index finger. It looks pretty convincing. Name is Solomon Morizzi. Ma, I won't pay. I have good men that work here. Many that have several children. I plead that if something is wrong... I'll pay. If you find nothing is wrong, I'll still pay. Only this time to charity instead. We live in a great country and we should not be cheating each other. Uh, I noticed another important detail. The lawyer's name is Lucky Sasana. Now I'm getting a slight smell of fish in my nostrils. I update Mr. Matalone on the finger case. He said it is possible the man could have cut it off himself. He probably thought losing a finger was worth 4,000 pula. People can even go to a witch doctor and sell a finger. He's really snappy and angry with his workers and tells them to go home. No more overtime. I want to know who's been feeding him and if he is eating that fast food. 
He insists it's not fast food, and he tells me we need to go inside of a customer's car to speak in private. I am behaving this way because I have a terrible suspicion. He says that they towed this car that crashed on the A1, a bad road, and he found a moat, witchcraft. He thinks that it contains someone's finger. Even the smell is evil. The car belongs to Charlie Hutzo. He's involved in guns and drugs. You never hear his name in the newspapers or courts because he has big friends. I tell him that I must take this pouch to be examined. We've got to make it look like there's been a break-in. A thief, a thief took this away. When he returns and he notices something missing or has been stolen, tell him that you have a friend, a lady detective, who will find this missing item. Madame Kutsi finally has permission to get a telephone with the option to leave messages. But she's quite busy. <clears throat> Hello, is your husband missing? Have you lost your cow? No, 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 no. You have reached the number one ladies. No, no, no. Eh, uh, excuse me, ma. Could you stop? Ah, at your service, ma. Do you have updated notes? Or uh, maybe a breakthrough? Uh, or in all case, words that do not have an H. We did not lose the H. It was already missing. Say that again, ma. We have lost the H. No, 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 no. We did not lose the H. It was already missing. <laughs> yes, ma. We did not lose the H because it was already missing. Yes. Another breakthrough. Mwah. You are indeed an excellent secretary. I need to pay a good visit to my doctor friend, Mr. Belobani. Call every insurance company in Botswana and ask about missing fingers. I want to know about every single claim about missing fingers. Ah, there we are. Solomon Morozzi. Amputation, May 17th. Now, I have another question. Could this be the same finger? It's evidence from another case. Uh, this is not a finger I amputated. It is an index finger, but belongs to a child. Be careful. There are shadows of evil and superstitions. I will. Precious Dulema. I knew you would be back soon. I made a bet with note that your arrival would be soon. <laughs> ah, yes. Hmm. Did you write this letter? I'm acting for Hector from the boat factory. I want to make a bet with you. What do you charge for Solomon Moruzzi? 5%? 10%? 15%. Oh, no, 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 no. 25%. 1,000 pula. No claim, no pay. <laughs> I bet you, Lucky, 1,000 pula, your claim will not be successful. If it is, I'll pay you 1,000 pula. If not, you pay me 1,000 pula. I love medical terms. Hostilo <laughs> molitis. It's infection of the bone. May 17th, surgery was performed. Solomon Morozzi. Damaged finger was amputated. According to your letter, this happened Wednesday, May 10th. But this year, May 10th was not on a Wednesday. I called another insurance company and last year, also May 10th, our Solomon lost another finger in the same place. <laughs> I called another insurance company the year before that. <laughs> Could you believe that same finger also made 10th? This claim 3,000 pula 
this poor man lost another finger. Hmm. The strange part, you made the claims under different company names. Lucky Sasana and Associates, Lucky Sasana and Co. Hmm. I hope you have 1,000 Pula and an associate who knows about insurance fraud. Solomon Morozzi? Who wants to know? Your daughter, she's full of life. And I have a few questions for you. She's not my daughter. She's my sister's daughter. Are you policeman? She's a lovely soul. Her smile, lovely. It's a hot one. Let's go in the shade and talk about the law. I'm not a policeman. I am a detective. Let's talk away so no one is embarrassed. So, what does a man do with 4,000 pula? It's a lot of money, especially when he receives it once a year. Does he drink too much beer? Does he buy himself a big car? Does he go to the casino and gamble? If you ever had 4,000 pula, what would you do with it? Ma, I give it to buy these kids new clothes for this year. A swing to swing on. I give it to my sister's daughter or my brother's twins. I give it to these orphans like these who did nothing bad ever except to be born at the wrong time, the wrong place. And with the disease, they can take your parents just like that. Then your aunties. And then you. I am glad to hear the money has been so well spent. But in the future, you must find a way to get money legally. Do not contact another insurance company again. Unless you really do have eight fingers or less. <laughs> Emma. Eh! We are winning, Makutsi. <laughs> and now all we have to do is tell Alice Busan that her bad boy husband is the kid. Eh, Madam Busan is here. Uh, yes, thank you. Dulema, I have news. I'm glad you have more news. My Kremlin was out late again. He said he was doing charity work. Helping some old fat lady home. She was too fat to walk. Yes, ma. Well, I'm afraid my sister that your husband is not a good man. I have proof in an envelope on my desk. You should inspect it in private. Well, okay. <clears throat> Well, I have looked at the photographs and yes, you are right. There is only one possible conclusion you can draw from them. That you are a slut. A slut who has seduced my poor Kremlin. This is you, is it not? Kissing my husband. I was simply playing a part to demonstrate your husband is being unfaithful. How dare you kiss my gremlin? You Jezebel! You have proven you are the fattest tart in Gabaruni! Uh, I can suspect this is not a case in which we will receive payment. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, 
Here she is. The detective I was telling you about, she will find the missing item. Uh, uh, do Melema. Uh, my friend has lost something from his car. I told him you would find the, the, the items. Uh, here's my card. I want what belongs to my boss brought back to me. I am afraid for you, ma. These people are not good. Eh... Uh, do not be afraid for Mira. I am built of strong stuff. Eh, thank you for visiting with us, Ra. Ladies Madame makes these cakes. I like them. I am not speaking to you here. My office is at the Plaza Hotel. I prefer to do important business in public places. Everyone stays on their best behavior. I am the detective my friend mentioned. Hmm. Is this chocolate? Let's see. Uh, so I suspect it. Hmm. I found what you were looking for. I found the boys who took it. And in return, I promised I'd forget their names. I have your moti. Your medicine of a child. Take the little girl to go get some ice cream, eh? Tell me where my item is and your little mechanic friend will be okay. I want some medicine myself. I want to punish a man. He said he loved me. He lied. You want Moti? <laughs> That's funny. Well, good. I was just wondering if your little friend Lily would make it back from the ice cream parlor. Huh? I can draw you a map. It's a long way from here, a long way north. It's not a good place, but now, whatever you want comes from a bad place. So now, where's my property? You're eating it. It's inside. <laughs> Excellent choice. 500 pula. <laughs> yeah. Ma, I think you will be happy with my camera work. Many good shots. Excellent work. I also have a record. I am going on a journey. I want to see who could sell a child's finger and think they can get away with it. Coco! I am very hot, ma. I need water. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, my sister. You're a long way from anywhere. I was sent by a friend. In Abaruni, a friend of yours and mine, Chaleotso, he told me you could help me. I have trouble with another woman. <laughs> it's my husband you're looking for. He's not here. He's across the border. You have to come back. He will help you. I cannot come back. I am writing a story for the police. They are looking for him. They say that he has things, bad things, part of children. They're going to arrest your husband and hang him. I came to warn you. They're going to hang you too because they say you're part of this. Eh? They don't like witchcraft. The boy is not dead. They cannot hang me if the boy is not dead. He's with the cattle. People bring them here because when they do it, it has to be fresh. I never liked it here. Dad, but who are you to ask me these questions? I will not chase you. Tell me my, where he is. And he better have all of his fingers. 
<laughs> you want to know where he is? I will take you. <laughs> Tell me. Don't poison my ears with any more of your foolishness. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm here to help you. I'm not going to hurt you. I am a Don Matsway. I'm a detective. I think you are the son of a school teacher. Let me see your hands. Show me your fingers. <gasps> Good. You have lovely hands. I see what you've done to this boy. I can see the cuts on him. M, look. It's okay. Let her run. We don't want her in our van. Let her run and let the hyenas eat her. Let's go home. Looking at this precious child made me remember when I lost mine. Pain, the loss, the parents, I know have felt the same pain. <sighs> we must rest tonight and drive more tomorrow. The children sing during their wonderful morning at school. We drive closer and the boy leaps from the car screaming, Papa! And the father screams, the beast. Great joy. Great joy. I heard later Hotso tried to escape the border, but was surrounded during his route. Tribal dances are displayed at the resource center along with plays. Hector donates 4,000 pula and Susanna donates 1,000 pula. The reasons, they are known by who it needs to be known by, which is okay. I'm happy to listen to everything. Irma, Irma, Mother Mutswe, I have an important question to ask you. Eh? Do, do you, do you, yes, uh, do you remove the handbrake before you accelerate your van? Ah, oh, am I supposed to do that, eh? I have to do that more often then. <laughs> Thank you. I'll do anything you ask. Am I marry me? Everything except that. <laughs> the number one ladies detective agency. All will be well. All 